is there is there it's an app that has um listings and the consumer can look through it and their agent is branded to it and when they request to see a property the consumer can then just go instantly re request that showing through the app <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, we did it. We are live. I am Nick Baldwin and sorry, we're a few minutes late. Some technical difficulties on the Zoom side, but it's Zoom. What can you expect? Uh, but we're here. The show must go on. I'm Nick Baldwin, co-founder of Lab Code Agents, and we've got a pretty cool webinar today. Um, today we have the co-founders, founders, co-founders, co CEOs, inventors of Showingly, which is a really cool new showing management software. As you guys know, the showing management space has been uh, disrupted since Zillow purchased showing time. A lot of agents, a lot of brokerages, MLSs, associations, they are looking for other options. And Showingly is a product that Tristan and I uh, really love because it has a lot of cool features for the agent and for the consumer to collaborate on showings. And so we're excited to have you guys here. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks, Nick. Excited to be here. So what is Showingly? Let's just start with that super simple question. What is it? Well, I think everyone looks at showing management and it's in the name and it's our core competency. But the reality is Showingly was meant to be so much more. The biggest pain point that, that I think we've seen is Sure, showing management is hard. I mean, you got multiple parties on the buy side, the sell side, the two agents, and it's hard to coordinate. But what's harder than that for an agent is the need to manage five or six or seven or eight different one-dimensional software solutions to run your day-to-day -day business. I mean, you could have showing management platform, contract solution, CRM or multiple CRMs. You could use Google Drive. You could use Google Sheets. You could use some software your brokerage tells you to use. You could have a brokerage CRM as well that's different than your CRM. And you could try to manage all of this and manage the different accounts and not only manage them, but pay for multiple solutions. And then you duplicate your data and your efforts into multiple platforms. And it's just a mess. And to us, it was like, why hasn't anyone been able to unify a lot of these one-dimensional solutions into one place? No duplicate data, no duplicate effort connect agents to their business, connect the agents to the clients, and connect agents to each other in one place. And so that's really the vision for Showingly. And that's why today's, you know, the, in the title, it's not even as much showing management. It's some other features that we have as well, because that's the essence of, of what we do. Well, so what I heard from that is, you know, there's, uh, there's, it's a place for agents and the consumer to kind of collaborate together, I guess you would say. So around houses that the consumer might may, may typically want to see. So like, what would that look like? You know, so is there, is there, it's an app that has um, listings and the consumer can look through it and their agent is branded to it. And when they request to see a property, the consumer can then just go instantly re request that showing through the app. Yeah, I, I would say so. I think the difference between us and any major home search platform is that it's not a shiny object, shallow value proposition. The, the way you get from Redfin, Realtor, Zillow, any of those, hey, look at these homes in this nice way. The reason consumers do that is because there's no unified messaging on the agent side of things to the consumer. They don't know what's going on. They don't know how to buy a home. So they go to the most simple thing they can find. So what we did instead was added a much deeper value proposition they can connect to you, the agent in the application, and everything they do is driving data into your in-app CRM. You can see breakdowns on what they're looking at, look at their listing notes, their favorites, and, and really you own the data on the consumer, not us. Got it, got it, got it. So um, if a, uh, from, what I, from what I've seen just from other webinars that we've done together, this is really like a tech platform, right? Like showing time wasn't so much a tech platform and that there was a lot of uh, human interaction, which is great, right? But sometimes 
um, just having that technology help us out um, is there's just less less friction. So, um, you know, what uh, what type of what type of technology can we see with inside the app to help uh, the consumer and the agent stay connected? Yeah. You go ahead. Well, I think that the biggest thing that a consumer is going to look for is an understanding of the home buying process. And it's really hard for agents to deliver that to them. That's why the more experienced agents, you know, do so well is they have this clarity around how to buy a home and how to communicate that process to a home buyer. And so for the consumer side of things, being able to translate that clarity into a technology platform is what we've aimed for. I mean, it's a very simple, easy to understand flow when you go into the consumer app, but instead of just looking at a map of listings, you can look at your showings, you can look at the date, the time. I mean, the, you can leave notes on if you like that showing or that property, those notes can go to your agents. You can favor properties that will go to your agents. Um, and then we're adding some more things as well that'll help home buyers maybe save searches and maybe preempt the ability to know if it's a good time to buy or not and help the agent uh, maybe understand, hey, you should follow up this guy because it's statistically probable that he's getting ready to buy. Um, another thing with that is the seller side. So the seller consumers, they would either have to download a buyer app or a seller app for showing time in some other places. But for us, it's one unified experience. So if the agent adds their seller client, their listing will show up in the app automatically. They can okay. approve and showings, uh, look at all the information there as well. Uh, do you guys want to show us anything uh, in terms of how the app looks and, and how it can be used from both agent and and consumer side? Because I like how it's both. Like I like how it's a home search site, and it's also uh, got an agent side. You know that's pretty sweet. So can we take a look at some of that? Yeah, I think that what we'll do here is jump into. Let me just share my screen. I have both apps up. The other thing I would say that's really unique to our ecosystem is we've looped into brokerage as well, because you as an agent can't fully put your day-to-day -day into one place if the brokerage isn't looped in in some fashion. And for the brokerage side of things, if your agents are already using a platform, it's pretty easy to meet them where their attention already is. And so just to look at the two applications side by side. These are the staging environments, so I'll cross my fingers, they're working as intended. But the one on the left is the agent application. The one on the right is the consumer application. If I quickly jump into the one on the right, you'll see that it looks much like a traditional home search site. Difference, of course, being that on the far left, I can look at my showings. I don't have any in my account here. Uh, if I did, they'd show up here. I can also go to my agents. And, you know, test agent, no data really here, but that's really the nice part of the consumer app. And if I can jump over to the agent app now, you'll find that the flow is incredibly similar. So that was one thing that was nice was the agents, when they share the consumer app with their home buyers and sellers, kind of have an idea that those home buyers and sellers are getting very similar user experiences as they are in their own platforms. So if I jump over here to the agent application now that we're looking at the application you guys would see, you see again that it's you load into a traditional home search feel. So it's very simple. The difference being, of course, if you have a particular listing that you'd like to schedule a showing on, you can type in the address or listing ID. Of course, you can filter and, and go and narrow down your search the way you're used to. And ultimately, when you find a place to schedule on, the difference between us and traditional home search is that here I can see not only the information, but I can also schedule. And so what's nice about that is this scheduling, you can loop in a up to three buyer clients. You can delegate in some markets, maybe some of you are familiar, maybe not, but in some areas, delegation is very popular. So if I wanted to delegate this showing because it's in the next 40 minutes. There's a little bit of a premium. Um, delegation is- You say delegate, what is that? What is that? Specifically what happens there? <clears throat> so what delegation is, is 
basically agents can't be at two places at once. So when they have a client, they say, let's say they have two clients that need to see um, two different properties and two separate sides of the city. Obviously an agent can't accommodate both those times. And so with delegation, agents are able to delegate a showing when they can't make it. Um, basically keeping the, the consumer's convenience at the core of the entire process. And basically what showingly does is we, we find a showing assistant to actually go conduct that showing for that agent that delegated that showing. Got it. Okay, that's pretty sweet. And so what's the schedule $58? $58, what is that? So since I'm delegating here, it'll tell me what it costs to delegate at a certain time. Oh, pricing. So if I turn okay, so you're kind, of, you're basically like leveraging, kind of like a, a like an a la carte showing assistant. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So basically, okay. any available showing assistant in your market or in your area can pick up that showing um, on on a different map inside the application and go conduct that for you. And showing assistant will go unlock the door, turn on some lights, and smile and give give your client a good experience so who okay so other agents when they join they can kind of basically say i'd be willing to you know show homes for someone for 50 bucks yeah and what's nice about this here is if i jump over to my menu and i go to the pickup map i've already completed my sign up and everything there but anyone who requests a showing assistant who delegates a showing those showings would show up on this map. And me as the assistant, I can go and see how much I would earn by picking up that showing for another agent. And I can do so right here. This is like, did you guys have this the last time we talked? Actually, this was one of the earliest things we we added in there. I don't remember seeing this. Time. <laughs> this is like the Uber of, but you know, but the cool thing is like it's it's real estate agents doing it. It's not other companies, you know, yeah. doing it. It's us and doing it. One thing that's really nice is, I mean, look, in some markets, this is commonplace. In other markets, it's not. But in both cases, agents would like to customize maybe who's allowed to pick up those showings for them. Sometimes they okay. don't care. if they don't care, they'll use it. Uh, when they care, what we're starting to build out with the agent social part of our app, where we connect agents to each other, that's the foundation for how an agent is going to be able to choose which other agents they might want to pick up showings for them. And so instead of needing to pay a showing assistant 10% of your commission, you can maybe just grab a handful of people you trust to open the door. Those guys need the experience or they're free or whatever it may be. And then you can trust that when you delegate, it's only going to those agents. So that's what we're building now. But this agent social portion we're going to show you is the foundation for that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's pretty sweet. So I can't show a property or uh, I'm busy or, or, or I don't want to show it specifically at that time. Um, it goes out to whoever is in the app and says they, they can show that home or you can pick agents that you know and trust who you know would pick that up and, 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 and be professional uh, and somebody wow. in the chat is saying, you know, um, at that point, you know, the buyer agreement automatically set up to protect you from the delegate. And so, listen, you know, this is one of those things where, you know, if this person is on your app, they're your client. So if you have signed a buyer agreement with them and, and that's what you have to do for your state, you know, you've done that already. They're not, yeah. the client and the agent are connected together in this app. They're working together. You're their buyer agent. They've signed the agreement with you. And in the app, it says delegate and they're paid however much it costs for that specific showing. So it is a fair question. Yeah. The buyer, the buyer side of things. And the reality is, yeah, you're going to have to go and sign your buyer agreement outside of the app because until we add a deal center, there's just one more solution you have to log into. That's the whole value of what we're building though is we're fully intent later this year on adding a deal center integration so that you can handle all of your exclusive right to buys and things of that nature through the application. That way, when you connect with a client, you can simply say, send them the ERB, have them sign it, and you know that they've signed it. And that way, when you tell them to download one app, you're not telling them to download an app, uh, go to your email, click these links, download this, download that, log into this. You know, Managing that through one experience for them as well 
will be so much easier for you and for them and more likely that you retain and sign these people as well. So that is something we fully intend to do pretty quickly here. But for right now, you're right. I mean, you have to make sure that you're signing these things outside of the application. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, one thing I'd say though, is that if a showing assistant picks up your delegation, they are in a non-compete. So yeah. by law, I mean, they would forfeit any, anything they could possibly do with that client to you legally, yeah. commission-wise. So uh, we have all of that pretty airtight. Also, even outside of that, um, from the, I guess, the legal side of things and accepting the terms and conditions to even be on our platform, um, we, we take measures to, to make sure that your client's information is never directly connected with the showing assistant, meaning the showing assistant will never have the contact information for your client, those types of things. And also, um, when the showing assistant is signing up, um, we, we walk them through um, really uh, protocols and processes that they're supposed to take. And in facilitating this, the, 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 so the showing, showing okay, so the showing delegate won't have won't have the client's contact information. Got yep. It. So the showing assistant will directly connect with the the, the agent, um, and they can communicate that way. But we okay. we never like to facilitate uh, your client contacting the the showing assistant. That's a really cool feature. I love that. Um, because that will really help solo agents, uh, you know, who don't have buyer showing assistance to just maximize uh, their time better, which is awesome. Um, cool. I love that. So can you show us, uh, just show us some other cool stuff. What else should we see? Well, I think what's neat here, and I'm just going to, I'm going to show you the listing side of things. Just get out of the way real quickly. Real easy guys. If you have a listing in the MLS, it'll show up here automatically. Here's how you connect it to be ready for showings. Once it's connected, you can view the showing history, the individualized feedback, you can do a message blast. You have a link that you can share to inspectors, appraisers, or other agents not in your MLS who don't have access to our application to be able to schedule. Uh, if I wanted to edit the configuration, it's pretty thorough. You can, if it's appointment required, you can say listing agent must approve, client must approve both either. We've granularized the permissions. And, uh, you know, you can add a co-listing agent up to three seller clients. You can say text or email notifications, uh, who can and can't approve, things of that nature. So it's everything you would expect in showing management platform. Just show that real quick. Uh, but the cool stuff that's beyond showing management, I think, is, is what we're here for today. So if I go to social, this is where we start to connect agents to each other. Because like we said, again, our goal is to connect agents to their business to their clients and to each other. And so as we start to connect agents to each other a little bit, we go to social and I'm following a couple people and I should take a step back and say that in social, the idea is that you can follow agents in a similar manner to Instagram or Twitter. You can make your account private so that if another agent wants to see you or your stats or anything like that, you can make them have to be approved by you. So all that's all in order, but What's really nice is you want to get all your friends to follow you because if I get a listing and I have all of these guys following me, they're going to get a notification about my listing. That's more exposure for, for that listing for me. Yeah. And then as well, if I jump into, for example, our friend, Sean, uh, what's nice is I can come here, see his activity, see the stats. And what we're adding up top here, it's blank, but it's going to come in in the next month or two is the ability to begin to give them permissions to, for example, pick up showings on your behalf, things of that nature. So some more options are what, what are coming here. So that's the foundations of what we're doing to connect agents to each other. Why I think we call this establishing your, your uh, brand and claiming your brand, brand I think yeah. it was, is there's not a lot of opportunities for social media-esque platforms these days. So for uh, this being probably the first and only real crack at an agent one on a platform such as ours, it would be good to get in this early and start getting agents to follow you, get your friends to follow you and things of that nature, because it's, it's just that much more exposure, especially at an early stage. And with how many markets we're going to be launching in your future here, just getting a jump start, we wanted to show on this webinar and show yeah. people that it's it's in its beta <clears throat> phase right now so. yeah give lab code agents and everyone all their subscribers uh a look into what's coming give them give them a little bit of a, a heads up with the social stuff when i take a listing 
the people following me are other agents or are they clients or both? Because would it, it would work for agents too in the market who, if I take a lot of listings, they could be notified when a new listing of mine hits the market, right? And then also I would have my clients in there who get notified when a listing of mine hits the market. Is that how it would work? Yeah, yeah. I think okay. I, the client side of things, it's a little... Client side of things is nice because when you connect with your clients, they're just going to get, you know, information about you. So that does make sense. But for the social side of things, it's more just agent to agent. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I love that. And so how do we get inside a house? Like, how would we schedule that show? And like, you know, because you said that there's no, it's not uh, a call center, right? It's all, um, it's all through the app, right? Yeah, we do have call to schedule as well as needed. Um, it's going to be market by market, just depending on the nature of our agreement in that market. But it is something we can do. It's something some, some states really just need. But for the most part, we wanted to build friendly enough technology that it, it wouldn't really matter. And so, again, if we come here to, let's say, this property here, and I want to schedule, I would click schedule and here's where I can go. And like we said before, you know, you can change the, the minimum duration, the, or the duration, I should say. And this has been configured by the listing agent in their configuration setup of this listing. So if they said, hey, I, you can only do 15 minutes or 30 minutes because of COVID, it would limit that. But I can change the length of the showing, add my clients, and ultimately here's where I would schedule. I love that, I love that. Um, show me what the Q button does. Sure. If I queue up a showing and I go out and here to my queue, I could queue up three or four showings, and this is how I could batch schedule. So here in my queues, I, I can go and I can look at the time. I can update the time. Um, if I have three or four, I can reorder them, that kind of thing. Oh, got it. Okay. That's, oh, I got it. It's, it's a list of the houses that you're going to show them. All right. So how does an agent get in on this? Does it have to be brokerage level, association level, MLS level? Can an agent just get it? Like, how does it work? That's a great question. We have right now a select few markets where an MLS wide, the real thing that powers the ability to operate is the data on MLS level so that we can really just, it's the fuel for the platform for people to use it. It's also how we do our security. We make sure that an agent's part of the MLS. We make them verify their phone or email on file for that MLS. And so if we don't have that, we can't operate. There's a couple ways we can get that. Right now, you know, it's easy to make a top level agreement with an MLS, but that's, that takes time. And MLSs are right now debating, debating with showing platforms. So what we're starting to do is go to brokers and agents and just have them be our, our client before a data agreement with the MLS. It lets us operate, lets us offer our services. So if we're not in your market, which we likely aren't, I think we're in three markets it's now, soon yeah. to be eight next week. We, you know, we'd love to speak with you. Honestly, if this yeah. interests you, we could go to your MLS, use you as a customer and get started and get going just as easily. That's awesome. Um, how have how have agents been sharing this app with their clients? Like, what's the best? Uh, you know, because people don't people are like, I don't need another app on my phone, right? So, how are agents best and most effectively sharing this with people that they're working with? Yeah, it's very non-frictional actually, because it's something where it's a very important step for someone to purchase a home. So. If you tell them, hey, this is how we get into the properties and manage this experience as we begin the home buying process, it's a really non-aggressive ask, especially for something so important. So like during the buyer consultation, you know, hey, listen, this is how we stay in touch. This is how, you know, we can communicate around what properties you like and what you want to see and so on and so forth. So that would probably be a no brainer, honestly, right? Because one of the things, one of the problems is lack of communication around properties, what we're going to see when we're going to see it, you know? Uh, so this only improves the transparency, which I know 
a lot of consumers are, you know, really wanting more of in the in the transaction. Um, what else should we know that's super special and cool about it? I think on that thread, one thing I would say is when consumers go to some of these home search platforms, the data is kind of dirty or old. Yeah. And because we pull directly from MLS and we don't use any aggregators or any anything like that, it's it's direct data. It's going to be updated more frequently. So also if you have buyers that are just looking, they're not even doing showings yet, it would be really easy to say, hey, download this. It's it's better data. And when you're ready, if you like homes or you want to leave notes on homes, you do that in this app and I'll get them. And so if you preempt that showing process a little bit, what's nice is it's an exclusive connection. So once that consumer downloads the app and connects you as the agent, any other agent that's also marketing to them couldn't have them do that. So it's, uh, yeah, it's nice to go and connect your whole sphere before someone else does. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, cool, cool. So what is the cost of this system? Well, right now, the showing management side is free to use. It's not free that we charge for. I know, crazy. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I think, so I think the, the, the stance that we've taken is, um, no, really for us, and we just try to put our best foot forward, um, driving the most value in, in really a critical part of an agent's day-to-day, -day, and that's showing homes and connecting with their clients. And so for us, um, we like to say, hey, let us, let us do really well in showing management and uh, putting our best foot forward and earn your business, which we do very, very well. And I'm very confident in saying that, um, as well as providing your consumer a great experience as well. And so that piece is free uh, for an enhanced experience. Uh, you know, obviously we, we do have uh, Agent Plus, which is our subscription that we have inside the app. But for anything showing management outside of that, uh, we are 100% free. Can you show me the this and this one we're looking at? That's the consumer. Or that's the agent side, right? Agent app, yeah. So uh, there was something about a blog. Can you? I saw some blog on the home. Yeah. What is that blog? Uh, is that only in the agent side, or is there a blog in the consumer side too, or is this just kind of your blog? This is our blog. Oh, okay. We might, we might let like, for example, when a brokerage makes a when a brokerage logs into our brokerage suite, we might let them curate their own content here. If they do events as well, those events would show up here. So brokerages get a little a level of control over the experience their agents are having. But um, this is just kind of like a way for you guys to tell uh, people using the app, kind of like things that are going on, new updates, yeah. you know, that type of stuff. Okay, gotcha. And one thing that, again, we're working on here is when we go to Brokerage Hub, for example, we have three things in here. I know we have the listings and feed. If I go to listings, I can see all of the listings that agents at my brokerage have, which is really cool. And you know, maybe you want to do a deal with someone at your brokerage. Maybe you're just looking through the brokerage's listings for fun. I mean, it's something that's been pretty hard to access in a convenient way until now. So just having this automatically showing up is something that we're, we're happy with. The brokerage though, sometimes, for example, wants to communicate with the agents. And so instead of going to Facebook and, you know, let's say a brokerage manages their Facebook group for their agents, little do they know that those agents are also in new agent Facebook group lab code agents and all these other <laughs> groups and they're going to see posts about other brokerages and if you're a brokerage you don't want your agents seeing that like you don't want them coming no. back and saying give me this split give me this instead so you want to be able to control that narrative so brokerages can manage all of this through the brokerage feed uh through their portal and so that's also another way we can offer a premium service to a brokerage and ultimately the goal is we want to have a free layer that has an immense amount of value. And by offering something like this to a brokerage and by offering our agent plus subscription, that's how we, we do that. So this is kind of like an inner office, social media announcement type of system. I mean, I know from being a team leader, 
of a KW market center, how hard it is to, you know, make sure everyone knows what's going on, right? Like yeah. everyone has so many uh, different notifications going off every day. And so this is kind of cool. Like if, if, if the office is using this, uh, you know, as they're showing management and you know, your agents are in there anyway, regularly, why not put updates and communicate with your agents like through that. That's pretty sweet. That's a good idea. Thank you. I like that. I like that. Um, so someone is asking, Larry is asking on Zoom, you know, so the charge taken out for the delegate, how do they get paid? Sure. Yeah, we take the fee from the delegation and we pay most of it to the showing assistant and then uh, Stripe who takes the payment processor, I suppose, takes a pretty hefty stripe chunk out of it and then we take the remainder. So the, yeah, we, we take a small service fee. Okay, no, but how, so you get a small service fee for that, which makes sense. And then how does the agent, how does the showing delegate get paid? Does it go through, you hook up your credit card to it or something along those Actually, lines? Yeah, the, the showing assistant signs up uh, through Stripe, they add their bank account or how they okay. like it out. It could be a credit card. And then they'll start to gain money through there and pay themselves out. Yep. So when they sign up as a showing assistant, um, basically we take them to Stripe, which is our payment processor, and they set up their, um, really their account. So they, you know, they can get paid out from, from the agent. I really love that delegate thing. That's, that's pretty sweet. Because, you know, showing agents, uh, that model is... Um, you know, it's a, it's, it's becoming more and more popular, right? Like as, especially now in a crazy market where there's nothing for sale and you're like trying to get your people into houses in record time, uh, this can come in handy. Um, listen, you know, it, it might cost you a couple hundred bucks, but you set, you rate, you, you set the prices based on what specifically the time of day, it's, um, it's who sets of the price? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, we have like surge pricing. It's it's very similar to anything that like, like Uber you know, or Lyft. Apps mm -hmm. that, that would. Yeah. Um. So we take you know how many how many showing assistants are really available in the area. How far? Obviously, a delegation going all the way up to like Steamboat is going to be. Yeah. yeah, it's going to have that price tag. Um, those types of things. But really, our baseline charge we always start at twenty nine dollars. Um, is really where okay. it's at. We try to make it really affordable for agents. Um, yeah, it's really just, we just want to drive a, um, really a feature that, that brings convenience to agents and makes their life easier is really what we're trying to do with that. Yeah, no, I like that. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, and it's per door, right? I would assume. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a la carte. Yeah. 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 For sure. No, I like that. Surge pricing. That's pretty cool. It's like Uber, Lyft. I dig it. I dig it. Um, sweet. Is there anything else we should know? Cause I mean, Every time I talk to you guys, I'm looking, I'm finding out something that I didn't realize was, was in there. So it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. We're moving pretty quickly. I just think that we, we talk with a lot of, you know, good people like yourself with, with Tom Ferry, with, with a lot of agents that are local here. We just make sure that we're adding things in the order that they're most valuable. We have a few things on the roadmap we're real excited about. Ultimately, the pain of having to manage half a dozen or more different solutions, pay for those solutions, log into those solutions, create duplicate data in those solutions. That's what we're looking to take away. So yeah, we're working hard at it and we don't wanna just be a showing management provider. That's one of the dozen things you have to use on a daily basis. Right, right. You just want it to be easy. I mean, we want everything to be easy, so. Yeah, I like it, man. Well, hey guys, if there's nothing else, I appreciate it. Um, you know, it's a, it looks like a simple product to use. And if agents want to bring it to their market, uh, they can contact you and you can reach out to the association or the MLS, or should they go to the MLS first? Like how, how should they go about that? We'd have them probably reach out to our team and we'll, we'll approach the MLS together. It'd be nice to be able to do it on a more unified front and you know, we, we kind of know the ins and outs of most of them. Yeah. And we just probably need a couple more yeah. uh, people to work with us on that level personally. And then we'll, you know, that would be the way. 
but you guys are, are growing quick. You said you're in three markets. You're going to be in eight markets by next week. Yeah, we have five other agreements. We're in the data sanitization phase. So, you know, as soon as we're comfortable with the mappings, uh, we'll start rolling them out probably by the day at this point, now that we have all of those agreements. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate you being here. And we have a clubhouse with you guys on the 22nd uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern, I believe. So if you are on clubhouse, uh, go in and set a reminder. We'll be talking about a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and I think we'll be talking about showing leave, but we'll be talking about just, you know, the, the, showing management space uh in general there's a lot to talk about it's been being shaken up so it's exciting it's, it's exciting so thanks guys appreciate you being here always good to talk to you and see um what you're working on and uh we'll we'll talk to you soon yeah likewise Nick. thank you thank you and if people want to people want to con people want to contact us um you can go to pages.showingly.com slash showingly dash lca i know that's a mouthful but we can, jake, jake, <laughs> jake can you jake can you can you get a domain for that like just go to godaddy you know what? i'm just gonna buy a domain i'm gonna die by showingly lab showing lca.com can we just do that can we just do that the jake jake.com i vote jake.com jake.com jake wants to name it jake.com <laughs> all right thanks guys we'll see you soon Thank you. Thanks, thank you, Nick. Take care, guys.